David Bowie had a career as a musician, but that isn't where he stopped. Throughout his career, he played many characters not only on stage, but also in movies. These are all of David Bowie's best movie roles. You know, I really like you, mister. The Man Who Fell to Earth was one of David Bowie's first movie roles, and it's still arguably one of his best. In this movie, Bowie plays an alien who comes to Earth in search of water for his home planet. He is a strange being and finds it difficult to fit into the human world. Bowie had already been at the top of the charts for a while when he decided to play this role, but he honestly fit the part perfectly and really elevated the movie to a whole new level. The movie itself is a commentary on being extraordinary, and Bowie's performance captures this sentiment perfectly. You dance quite well. Although Bowie's career was quite varied, Just a Gigolo is one of his most memorable and successful roles. In the movie, he plays Paul Ambler, an ex-soldier who makes a living as a high-class prostitute in between the wars. Bowie's performance is very quiet and subtle, and his mannerisms and facial expressions add extra depth to the character. Despite the fact that this is undoubtedly an iconic role, Bowie still manages to not make it feel over the top or too showy. This film was incredibly cinematic, and Bowie was an essential part of making it so. Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence is another one of Bowie's more serious roles. He plays a British captain in a Japanese POW camp who, despite the extreme circumstances, still tries to maintain his dignity and sense of self-respect. While this is a very intense setting, Bowie manages to bring lightness and grace to his character, as well as a quiet strength that really elevates the entire film. This is honestly one of David Bowie's most normal roles, but he still manages to make it feel unique and special. Coincidentally, Bowie took this role around the same time as his most successful album, Let's Dance. Let's Dance also seems to be more mainstream and straightforward than some of Bowie's earlier work, which is perhaps an indication of how he was feeling at the time. Forgive me. Bowie was back at it again with this highly stylized vampire film. The Hunger is about two women, but Bowie manages to make his presence felt with a few memorable scenes. His performance as an undead creature who has been living in the world for too long is absolutely fascinating and captivating. In addition to being a great movie, The Hunger is also one of the most iconic examples of cinema de goth, as it features Bowie's patented blend of existential angst and dark mystery. There's really something shocking about Bowie's performance here, and it's absolutely worth watching. The performance here seems as if it's a continuation of his performance in The Man Who Fell to Earth, and it's something that really deserves to be seen. Call it. I want you to use your imagination. Even though Bowie only played a minor role in this musical, he still manages to make an impression. As the publicist in Absolute Beginners, Bowie uses his slick showmanship and subtlety to make a lasting impact. It's clear that Bowie is having a lot of fun in this role, and it's incredibly entertaining to watch him manipulate the movie's young protagonists. Plus, he even steals the show with a dance sequence on a giant typewriter. Bowie is often remembered for his music, but this is one performance that really shows off his acting chops. Bowie has always seemed to be more of an artist than a musician, and this role really proves it. Bowie also had the theme song with the same name as the movie title. You're him, aren't you? You're the Goblin King. Easily one of the more iconic roles of Bowie's career, and arguably one of his most memorable performances, Labyrinth was a box office hit and cemented Bowie as a star outside of the music world. He plays Jareth, the Goblin King, who is both menacing and mysterious. His performance is incredibly entertaining with silly one-liners that are delivered perfectly. Bowie also manages to make an impression in each scene with his signature style and flair. Even though the movie itself is full of fantasy and action, Bowie's performance remains incredibly grounded and believable. 
The movie was made by a powerhouse of filmmakers, Jim Henson, George Lucas, and Terry Jones, and Bowie's performance was an essential part of making it so successful. This was one of the most iconic roles of Bowie's career and a true testament to his star power. I mean, can you do a trick for me now, say? No. The Last Temptation of Christ had one long scene with Bowie playing Christ's inquisitor, the Roman prefect who presides over Jesus' trial and ultimately sentences him to death. Bowie's performance is absolutely electric, as he manages to make the role both sympathetic and villainous. He captures the power dynamics between Jesus and Pontius Pilate perfectly and really helps bring the story to life. Bowie has always been a master of subtlety, and this performance is no exception. This scene truly stands out in an otherwise divisive biblical epic. It was a dream. We live inside a dream. Bowie's appearance in this David Lynch prequel is brief but incredibly memorable. He plays a mysterious FBI agent who arrives to shake things up with a dark vision of the future. Even though the role is small, Bowie manages to make the most of it by using his signature style and flair. His performance is eerie but captivating, and it really adds to the overall Twin Peaksian vibe of this movie. Plus, Bowie's southern accent is absolutely ridiculous and adds an extra layer of weirdness that Lynch fans have come to expect from his work. Well, maybe you just shouldn't take things so seriously. Bowie's involvement in this film is both subtle and powerful. He plays Andy Warhol, the artist and mentor of Jean-Michel Basquiat. Bowie brings a real sense of depth to his character as he manages to capture Warhol's mix of curiosity, avant-garde creativity, and uncomfortableness with fame. His performance really grounds the movie and gives it a touch of realism that is often lacking in biopics about famous artists. It wasn't a surprise that David Bowie wanted this role, as he's a huge admirer of Andy Warhol. Bowie even wrote a song called Andy Warhol, which is on the Hunky Dory album. If nobody has any objections, I believe I might be of service. Zoolander has to be one of the most iconic and memorable roles of Bowie's career. He plays a fashion designer who is tasked with judging the walk-off between Derek Zoolander and Hansel. Bowie brings a sense of calm to the scene but still manages to inject plenty of humor into his performance. He also gets some of the best lines in the movie, referring to himself as David Bowie, and exclaiming, maybe I can help, when the two contestants get into a heated argument. Let's be real, Bowie's performance here was easily one of the best parts of the movie and is an absolute must-watch for any fan. What's conducting the electricity? Our bodies, Mr. Angier, are quite capable of conducting and indeed producing energy. Made in 2006, The Prestige was Christopher Nolan's second collaboration with Bowie. The movie follows two rival magicians in 19th century London, and Bowie plays Nikola Tesla, the inventor of the electric current. His role here is absolutely pivotal as it marks the transition from scientific themes to actual magic. Bowie looks absolutely convincing as a scientist-turned-magician and his performance really elevates the movie to a whole new level. What can you say other than the fact that his performance was electrifying? Bowie makes it look so easy and manages to hold his own against some of the other powerhouses in the movie, Hugh Jackman, Christian Bale, and Scarlett Johansson. Bowie made himself a great addition to Nolan's cast, and the prestige will always remain one of his most iconic performances. Bowie had a long and varied career, both in music and on the screen. He played some incredibly memorable roles in a number of different movies, from Just a Gigolo to The Prestige. No matter the role or the movie, Bowie always manages to make it his own and really elevate it. His performances are always subtle and nuanced, but he still manages to make everything a piece of art. As talked about in the documentary Moonage Daydream, directed by Brett Morgan, released in 2022, Bowie was always a chameleon, able to play any role and make it his own. His performances on the screen will forever be remembered and admired, 
and he will always remain an icon. That's it for this video though. Go ahead and let us know your thoughts in the comments and subscribe for more content like this. See you next time.